Erling Holland. Watching him play makes you feel better about your own technique on the ball. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. You still make Zlatan as god jokes, even though they died out in 2018. Pepe. Nobody wants to play football with you, or any sport, for that matter. Cristiano Ronaldo. You always comment rigged or robbery under every single messy post and think you actually did something. Neymar Jr. Neymar is what you imagine yourself playing like, but in reality you play more like Man United Anthony. Harry Maguire. You probably don't even watch football, you just like making Maguire jokes. Ruud Gillett. You weren't even alive when he retired, and you've never seen him play outside of YouTube highlights and edits. You just like him, because of his OP FIFA card. Kylian Mbappe. You were probably a Ronaldo fan, and moved on to Mbappe when Ronaldo left Europe. Karim Benzema. Yeah I'm not doing this one. Pele. Either you're above the age of 70 and think nobody comes close, or you're below the age of 17 and were raised by your grandparents. Eric Dier. Your name is Gareth Southgate. Steven Gerrard. You'd never admit to having Gerrard as your favorite player because everyone would tear you apart for the slip. Mohamed Salah. You prey on Real Madrid's downfall every day. I'd like to ask you to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Florian Words. You hyped up Bayer Leverkusen on social media all year, yet their only match you watched was their 3-0 defeat to Atalanta. Eden Hazard. Honestly, he was just a great player. If he's your favorite, you have great ball knowledge. Lionel Messi. You're a D1 professional glazer. If you could, you'd sign off your mortgage and children to this man. Ronaldo Nazario. You believe he's the greatest of all time, and you're willing to die on that hill. It's a shame no one pays attention to you. Vinny Jr. You have never watched Nima, or you're just a Madrid fan and glad that you got your own Brazilian talent. Rodrigo. You keep trying to convince everyone that he's the best player in the Premier League, but nobody listens to you. The other Rodrigo. You have still yet to process Rodrigo's comeback goals against Manchester City in 2022. Julian Alvarez. You are always disappointed to see him rotting away on City's bench and wish nothing more for him than to leave Manchester City. Buke Osaka. You tend to overhype him. A lot. Nico Williams. You just started to support him after watching his performance in the Euros. Joao Felix. You never stopped calling him the next Ronaldo, even though it is very clear he is nowhere near Ronaldo. Christian Pulisic. You're American and you probably think he's a top 3 player in the world because you don't watch football. He definitely isn't.